a nice day. the bad pillow because they do that every morning you have to chew it hey no no let go that's not this is a good one no no hey this one you can chew that one. so you have to have a good and bad pillow the day off with patience so I enjoy my pillows I'm a pillow guy so for all you guys for some information I actually when I stay at hotels I actually order extra pillows for all the bed for the bedding Because when I sleep, I like to have a lot of pillows around me. So when I had my interior designer do all my bedding, I told her very, very important that I have a lot of pillows. All these pillows are custom, custom made with all the design. So, and what we did is we matched everything, the bedding to the curtains. Bodie? Bodie! This is my everyday. So now what happens is I shut the door for the day so the dogs won't, won't come into this room. Because I don't want them back in the bed. So we just got those chairs and those chairs were all made custom to finish off our room. We're just waiting for another piece to come in for here. And this is the master. Um, this place is probably as big as my first apartment, just the bedroom alone. I mean, everyone's seen in my videos, you know, what my lifestyle has become since the beginning. I mean, in the beginning it was, you know, not much. And uh, you now look what we're living in here. After bodybuilding, you know, I've been a pro for 10 years and uh, successful for you know, most of that time, you're definitely blessed to be uh, to be on top and to be um, in the situation I'm in. But you know, what people I think don't realize, they think that um, the new people really think that bodybuilding, you know, built this all for me, which it did. But I was just really smart with a lot of different things that I did with my money to be able to be in this situation and stay this way when it's over, you know. And, uh, it's huge. I mean, it, this is uh, this is what you know. You wake up every day as Mr. Olympian and say, you know, all that sacrifice is worth it. People always ask me, "What well, is it worth it?" I mean, I don't know. It's definitely worth it in my eyes because I can enjoy the finer things and I'm healthy and uh, I have a great situation that I'm in. So I can't really say uh, that. I regret anything, and of course I have Scrappy, which is most important too, huh? Because everyone knows that Scrappy is my favorite. 
of all the dogs because he's been there with me for the whole ride. He's we got scrappy in early 1995, and that's basically when it all happened. And he, Scrappy's been every home we've ever lived in in our entire life. So he's very, very important to me. And he doesn't leave my side very often. If you look in the videos, he's always there. So, okay, let's go in there. Huh, Scrappy? Hi, little buddy. You want to go outside too? Go outside with the big dogs. Go pee. So I'm going to sit outside with the dogs for a minute. Let's get me sure. So I'll do a little cardio. Just trying to do like uh, 20 minutes a day right now. So. Sports Center. Says that despite her illness, she never fell behind in school. I wanted to graduate with my class, she says. For more about Jennifer's Wish, check out her story at ESPN.com. Tuesday on Sports Center, spending a day in Fenway. Big Poppy helped make a boy's wish come true. That's Tuesday on Sports Center. So I got my garage kind of set up. There's some of my stuff hung, all my different covers here. These aren't all of them, but quite a few of them. So, I get the bigger garage now, five and a half cars. I got my dad's car here. My dad keeps his car here while he's out of town, so. Just at level three on a manual, just uh, try to get the metabolism kicking. So, as we're getting here now, rolling with the diet, uh, trying to put on actual weight, so try and bump the metabolism and uh, allow myself to eat a little more food. So we're starting to rock it, do a little cardio every day. Usually try to do it first thing in the morning, so I don't have to do it around my training and bang from there, so we're good. See the best? The best part about doing my cardio on the elliptical is I can wear my Croc sandals while I do it because they're the most comfortable things I wear most of the time. So I'm, uh, I'm able to do that without having to. I don't even think I use the treadmills anymore. Barely ever use the bike. I don't really use the stairs that often. Only closer to the contest. So we focus on the elliptical now. Ah, so that's my 20 minutes. These pictures are all pictures some fans made for me. This one this girl made for me. Uh, Tracy Burke was from, uh, from Denver, Colorado area. She made this nice collage for me after uh, 2005 Mr. Olympia, this one, which is pretty cool. So the water wall, the water wall acts as a humidifier for the house, so it runs on distilled water, and uh, I have to put in like two gallons a day, so we constantly have to feed as we run it, but it humidifies the house, which is kind of cool. Right, what are you doing? 
Wow. All right, so we got 100 carbs of Ezekiel cereal here. Okay, we got uh, four, that's 60 carbs of uh, bread. Okay, and then we have about 15 egg whites. Let's see this. One whole egg here, and uh, three pieces of turkey bacon. So, the dog's kicking his bowl. That means he wants either food or water. These Airedales are pretty smart. lays down and eats also. They both lay down to eat. And they drink the same way. But they both lay down and do the same thing. Teach teaching? No, I don't know if it's their breed that does that or what they do, but have you ever seen a dog lay down to eat before? I guess it's the Airedale way. <laughs> I wish I could lay down and eat. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's let those guys eat. No, you lay down. Go eat. Go eat your food. Go eat your food. Pretty bad when Mr. Olympia washes his plastic silverware. Right. The hardest part about the new house is uh, keeping it clean. The house cleaners came yesterday. They come every week, so they yeah they clean. They'll come every Monday. So it's kind of nice when I come home. I come home for my weekends. And the house is clean, so. Sponge over toothpaste over here.
hands up on when brushing the teeth. Train at the Flamingo Gold's Gym today on the east side. I'm going to go get some uh, what they call active release. I have my tendonitis here on my bicep. Sunny Vegas, but 150 degrees. You look tan. Okay, dude. Just hanging outside more often, you know? Trying to. I'm gonna warm up with some uh, some rope press downs, get the elbows warm. Try some stretch out a little bit. When people come to town, they usually come and train at this gym. This is like the hardcore gym in Vegas. I don't actually come over here uh, all the time because it's uh, it's kind of far from my house and the traffic can get heavy sometimes.
So the wider grip, press down, is one of the more compound movements. So arms are starting to get pretty pumped up. For some reason, with the with the dips, which I'm going to do right now, I prefer using smaller handles like this. For some reason, I can feel more of my triceps when I do it. So the thinner handles seem to work a little better to isolate the triceps, where the thicker handles are better for chest. So I like coming over here so I can use this. Of course, I just use body weight.
get a citation. Can't get it. That's pretty bad.
Yes. biceps in there so I try to work a little lighter and try to squeeze a little bit better. Well, my body feels pretty good. I'm pretty primed for when I'm gonna start my heavy heavy prep about a month. train my arms and biceps half the year because I have really bad tendonitis in this arm. Actually in both arms from wear and tear. So it's starting to feel pretty good now. And uh, I should be close to my best um, in about a month from now I should be feeling pretty good. Hopefully I can get you know, training the arms at 100%.
That's the so-called torn bicep. Right there, baby, in your face. Let's finish up some cable. Cable. That's about it for buys and tries. So I always like to start off with triceps. Warm everything up, so start with some ropes, the three sets there. Press down, straight bar, kind of a wide grip. You know, we did three sets there. Um, post grip bench presses. We did uh, three sets there. Um, dips, body weight, we did three sets there. Did uh, these lying uh, French presses, which this guy's doing over here. And I did three sets there. Uh, and then we finished with one arm cable press downs, reverse grip, with a uh, cable handle, and uh, started with buys, we did seated dumbbell curls, three sets there, 70s, then we moved over to a uh, preacher curl here with a straight bar, we did three sets there, and we did uh, hammer curls off the dumbbell rack. Um, Three sets. Then we did the uh, the bisolator machine by Flex, which was a two arm with a uh, elbow locked in position. Did three sets there, and then we finished with uh, the cable uh, overhead curl, which really works the the peak of the bicep. So we finished with those uh, three sets, and uh, that's it for buys and tries. So a lot of weeks I'll do biceps with shoulders or chest, um, and then same thing with triceps, either with shoulders or chest, I'll switch it up, but this week just doing them by themselves because we had some pretty intense workouts. Um, see how I feel later. Might come back and do some upper back, meaning pull downs, pull ups, uh, that kind of thing. Because we didn't do, uh, we only did reverse grip pull downs for our back there, heavy day. So my schedule never is set every week. Now that's maybe something different from the other videos. You know, you know the cut above video, the new and improved video, one step closer video, where I had like a set schedule where I was going in the gym basically five days a week and uh, setting a schedule every week. But this time around, I'm just training by instinct. Sometimes actually making body parts fall. Uh, so they've only done every eight days or so and focusing more on the lagging body parts or the ones I feel are recovered greatly uh, rather than some that are beat down continuously for a week. The travel schedule has been tough. Uh, I have to say, you know, I kind of fell into the schedule not by choice. I didn't just devise a new plan for, for 2007. I just kind of fell into it. So I'm just kind of listening to my body, see what I have to say. You know, last week I know I did arms with with uh, chest or shoulders. I did biceps and triceps with chest and shoulders. So this week doing arms on their own. Um, like I said, maybe some upper back uh, later. I'm gonna do some legs tomorrow, um, and that should finish off uh, a full body rotation with, uh, with you know Mr. Olympia 2006, hopefully 2007. So. Feeling good, you know, this gym's good to train at. The atmosphere is good. The air is good in here today. As you can see it's not too, too crowded. There's a little photo shoot going on here. Jason Matha shooting and uh, a lot of faces I haven't seen in a while. So everyone kind of left me alone, which is cool. And I feel good. We'll go kick it now to uh, the Dr. John Petrick's office. I'm supposed to be there for 12, we're a little late. I'm gonna go over and get some little therapy done on uh, my arm and hamstring and then we'll roll home, cook some food, pick back a little bit at the house and uh, take care of a little business this afternoon and then we'll head back to the gym probably later tonight. My name is Dr. John Petrick. I've been utilizing active release protocols for about 12 years. 
Uh, we uh, work with uh, thousands of pro athletes around the, around the world, around the country. Uh, what we utilize is something called Active Release Technique Soft Tissue Management System, and it's a system designed to break up scar tissue and to restore normal function and nutrition to normal tissue. Uh, for people like Jay that are uh, heavy lifters and they pretty put a lot of demand on their bodies, the tissue develops a lot of uh, uh, scars in the tissue or adhesions, uh, some people call them restrictions. And what we do is we palpate and look for where those restrictions are and free up the tissue and turn it back to normal, healthy tissue. I've uh, been associated, we treat from NFL to Major League Baseball, basketball, pro bodybuilding. Uh, we just uh, working a lot with the UFC fighters, so pretty much just about anybody that has any particular type of soft tissue injury, whether it be muscle, tendon, or ligament, could benefit from the active release protocols. Because of the repetitive nature of the forearm and the bicep, every exercise you do, you're pretty much straightening out your forearm, so it really does take a pounding, especially with what you're doing. Right now, Jay. Oh. Okay, come back again. I'm gonna take it back up towards me. I'm tight. Your orthotics are in where your mom's are. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's my mom's. Are, my poor mom's been asking me, and I said, "Sorry, Ma, I haven't even been over there." My legs heavy. Not bad. <laughs> oh. Heavier than the last guy? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten a little bit bigger since the last time you were That's bicep at all. I believe that's brachioradialis. The brachius. I think your bicep is fine. Yeah, my bicep's fine. It's just, it's just where the pain was. Okay. Got to help you out, buddy. No worries. All right. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor.